Hello everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, and it's time for the weekly adventures. So we're at 1.5, a 2, and a 4 star adventure. For the 1.5, we have game start. All players start with 3 spell mana. Very basic, this will help just about everyone. So really feel free to play whoever you want. It's a very simple, but honestly also boring power. Normally we actually get more interesting ones for the 1 or 1.5 star adventure, so that's kind of sad. Alright, next we have On Guard. Round start, create a fleeting single combat in all players' hands, so both yours and the opponent's, which an ally and enemy strike each other. And then we have Game Start, the foe summons a Noxian Arena, which you see right here, round end, your strongest ally and your weakest enemy strike each other, but this is going to be the enemy, so it's going to be their strongest unit strikes your weakest unit. Now, these are obviously all about strikes. This is going to be great for some of the scaling decks such as Garen, Tom Kench, Kane, and even Aatrox will really enjoy this. Should be a great set of power for all of them. You will have to watch out if you're trying to play some of the decks with weaker champions such as Annie or Teemo because the enemy is going to have plenty of ways to try to take out your target. So probably avoid some of those and go for some of the more brawler champions like I mentioned before and they should be absolutely amazing for this adventure. All right, next up, we have a new legendary power. So we have After Image, Round Start, the foe revives an ephemeral copy of the strongest dead follower. So that'll be quite powerful. Also, this is really gonna de-incentivize you having too strong of followers. When you're going through this run, try not to get followers that are too crazy, since if they die, they will be used against you. Then there's also the Withstand and the Vicious Enemy. So round start, grant the foes one health, and then Vicious Enemy just giving them the Nexus health, starting mana, and starting hand size. So you're either going to want to go for decks that are very focused on having their power being in their champion. So Jinx, Diana, Nidalee, LeBlanc, Jax, Teemo, all you know the typical S tier decks. But you could also go for some of the decks that have some more control to deal with whatever unit they end up summoning such as Annie, she should be great for this, being able to just immediately stun whatever unit they summon, or Yasuo, Leona, Ash. All the more control style decks should also be able to deal with this fairly well. Really exciting though that we're getting, or at least seeing a new legendary power, don't think we've had one of those in a while. Now most likely this is just for the weekly adventure, but maybe they'll add this to the pool of ones that we can actually get in game. If so, that'd be really awesome. I think I will end up playing this adventure and potentially also recording it, which I don't often do the weekly adventures anymore since I'm capped out on shards, and when you're capped on shards, you can't earn anything, including weekly vaults, which is quite sad. But that's it for the weeklies. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think of the weeklies or if your region got different weeklies. And if there's any powerful combinations that I forgot to mention, definitely comment down below, help your fellow players out. Also, a special thank you to everyone that watched my Crisis 2 Remastered highlight video. I'm trying to get better at my video editing, and those videos are a great way for me to expand outside of my normal types of videos, and they're normally quite fun to do. It's a great way to still put out new content for you guys, even though... Path of Champions isn't getting updated, sadly. So everyone that watched and commented on that video, thank you, I really appreciated it. All right, I hope you all have a great day and a great week.